Let's quickly convert our 2D image into a 3D one with just a few clicks. To do this, we'll use an AI tool called Zine. First, go to design.ai and click on Start Free. Sign up easily using your email. Once you log in, you'll see a page with various tools. In this section, you can see famous tools like 2D to 3D and Logo Effect and Sketch Rendering C and other tools that this artificial intelligence at your disposal. If you'd like to see more design AI tutorials in future videos, please like this video. Clicking on New Project. I'll choose a 1x1 image size. Here, I can upload the image I want to work on. Before uploading my image, let's take a look at the tools available in the left column. There's TX2 IMG, IMG2 IMG, and IMG Video. For premium accounts, there are more tools like AI Editor, Face Kit, Enhance, and Product Background. To start, upload my own image. I've chosen the character Fred Flintstone. It's okay if the picture isn't high quality. Now, in the IMG 2 IM section and under style, you'll see all the styles you can use for free. The 3D styles include 3D rendering, 3D avatars, QT3D, and 3D pixel. For now, I'll choose QT3D. This AI has a cool feature. It can generate prompts for you. Click on the auto prompt option and wait for it to generate a prompt. Style intensity is usually good at 0.6. Set structure match to 0.6. The higher you set it, the closer your output will be to the original image. Customize the remaining settings to suit the image. Now, let's hit generate. You'll start with 100 credits displayed in the top bar. Once you've used them up, your account will be replenished with 30 credits daily. The system has generated four images, consuming eight credits from our account at a rate of two credits per image. As you can see, the transformation from a 2D to a 3D character is remarkable. Let's explore a different 3D style. 3D rendering and generate another image. The output with the 3D rendering style is exceptional. For more advanced features and higher quality results, a premium subscription is recommended. All right, now you can download your image. But as you can see in the free version, there's a design watermark on it. To remove this watermark, you'll need to purchase a subscription. Click here to download your image. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.